Disney has made a real lightsaber. And it's inspired by this technology. Disney just released this incredible video of an actual glowing and extending real life lightsaber made by the Walt Disney Imagineering Research and Development Team. And this lightsaber is going to be used by characters inside the Star Wars Hotel Experience, which is called Galactic Star Cruiser. And that opens in 2022 at the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. But word about this real lightsaber had the internet buzzing weeks before. I remember it well. I'm on my computer when the news breaks and everyone loses their minds. Back then, there was no video proof. They did it. All we knew was a select group of reporters saw it at a stream presentation for a quick moment. So how did Disney do it? How do they make a lightsaber look real? I've gathered up some clues and I am going to show you how Disney likely pulled off this feat of engineering. First of all, when we say real lightsaber, it's probably not real as in an actual laser sword that can chop off your limbs. Yeah, death weapons wouldn't be good for business at a theme park. To find out exactly what Disney revealed in this video presentation, I needed to talk to someone who saw it for herself. Ace theme park reporter Carly Weisel, host of the podcast Very Amusing with Carly Weisel. It's so funny because this entire situation feels like I saw a UFO. I was in a digital press conference meeting and at the very, very tail end, Disney Parks chairman Josh Demaro whipped out a lightsaber. No one was expecting this. He had this hilt that what it didn't look like a regular lightsaber hilt, again, from the two second memory I have. It was more of a box. It seemed wider and a little bigger, but a full like a zoom a lightsaber appeared and it happened so quickly I couldn't clock how it was coming out of the hilt how it was working what was happening and then he said it's real because he knew that we'd be sitting there going I'm sorry what's happening when I saw you freak out on Twitter I had to like look up what was going on that's when we started to see okay there's a patent out there I'm studying the patent these are LED lights with gears and something that's, you know, kind of coming out of the hilt, but you didn't see it go back in the hilt. It was just like coming out of the hilt, right? I don't believe I saw the lightsaber go back in, but I also, I have to mention, I cannot confirm that what I saw is what that patent is. The way you would see it in the films where there's nothing and then there's a weapon. It kind of happened that quick. <laughs> Details of a lightsaber concept are in a patent application. So this is something Disney has been tinkering with for some time. Tucked inside the handle, or what you would call the hilt of the light sword, there are three materials rolled up into three different spools. There are two halves of a cylinder that make up the outside shell, which extended is about 30 inches long. And a third spool is a strip of LED lights on the inside. It could be anywhere from four to seven feet of LEDs, which all unspool quickly together to make it look like the light blade is shooting out. You know, why don't I just show you? Let's go shopping. Let's see what I can find. Self okay, there's just one more thing I want to get. I'm just going to pop into Target really quick. Okay, so maybe I got more than one thing. But I got one thing for the project I need. I have a bad feeling about this, but we're gonna try it anyway. So I am not an engineer by any stretch. I mean, I did win my middle school science fair and watched a lot of Bill Nye as a kid, but I wanted to make a model to show you some of the materials that could be involved in this. So the lights inside would be a strip of LEDs and you could pick this up at any hardware store. Let's turn it on. Whoa, there we go. 
You know, the idea is that you would just spool this up really tight. Hmm, I'm a fan of purple. To create a tube, you're getting two halves of a cylinder to unspool out. And you want some sort of like lightweight plastic that can keep its shape, but it is a little bendable so it can curl up and you know, it's gonna also overlap to surround the LED light. So even though it looks like a lightsaber already, I am gonna cut it in half to show what could be going on in that patent. So you have a lot happening at once. Three different things spooling out together. When you actually hold it, you can kind of tell how much is going to be involved in getting it right. We're getting there. Huh. One of the components uh, that it needs is something for it to be attached at the top of all three elements. So that way when it jumps out and retracts back in, they're all coming and leaving at the same time. And it's described as a little end cap. Let's build a little end cap. So I got like these plastic buttons for cables and a ping pong ball, but I gotta cut this in half. How do you cut a ping pong ball? I should be wearing gloves or something. I don't know what I'm doing. This seems dangerous. Yep. Oh. Hmm. This thing has to come out really fast. You know, it sounds a little bit like a tape measure too. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to actually roll it up, but could maybe show you what it would look like at the end result. They're gonna stay. So I am using clear plastic, which means you can see all the LED lights individually shining and uh, they need something to diffuse that. <laughs> this is like a mat you would put under the sink. All right, and for the finishing touch, I do have this decorative lightsaber candlestick holder uh, I will use as my hilt. Wait, how am I gonna get this in here? Uh, ooh, tape. Now all you need is a little bit of a sound effect and you have yourself a real lightsaber. It's, it's like this, more or less. Let's see if this passes the kid test. What does it look like? A lightsaber, maybe. What does it do? It's like a lightsaber, right? <laughs> I made this. It's awesome. Does it look real? No. Why you have a lot of tape? Because <laughs> it's the only way I can keep it together. How does this compare to the toy you have? Kind of squishy. <laughs> I think it's cool. Which one's the better lightsaber? Both of them. Both of them? Would you find something like this for sale? Well, that is an interesting question because you need to make it tough enough to take people messing with it, turning it up and down a jillion times. But right now, Disney is saying this is a prop for entertainment. The guests of the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser will be the first to see characters like Rey wield this lightsaber around the ship as guests travel the galaxy in a two-day, two-night stay. Now, if you want to make your own lightsaber, there is another experience in the theme park land, Galaxy's Edge. You can have your own lightsaber built and pick out your own kyber crystal. Now, those lightsabers are about $200, and of course, the saber part doesn't move. If you want something that retracts, there's always this version. Or you could use your imagination and the force, which I like to call tape. Yes, this is, this is, oh, I'm so sorry, Disney, I'm so sorry.